guys, I hope I find you well. Today we're going to do a video on DJ software, in particular something I've had a lot of correspondence about and that's Mixmeister. We're going to look at, in particular, Mixmeister Fusion, uh, but there's a lot of other packages out there. It does vary a lot compared with other DJ packages from the point of view that it's a timeline based system rather than a twin or quad deck system. So something like Virtual DJ and Tractor in a way, are similar, but Mixmeister has its own unique way of dealing with what you want to do as a DJ. Okay, so this is the general view on Mixmeister Fusion. Uh, you can see my reflection in here, so I do apologize about that, but hey, it's not going to make a lot of difference. The first thing you need to do is let Mixmeister find out where your music is, and that's quite simple. I'm going to zoom you into here, so we take it up, File, Add files to the library. This frame comes up, add a single file, add entire folder of files, and automatically add files by monitoring folders, which we do that at a later date. But for now, we're going to add entire folder of files. We go down to OK. And then you have the view that you're probably quite familiar with. In my case, most of my music is on my hard drive, so we'll find that. Coming down. Here we go, my book H. So we do that, music, and away we go. We would then press OK, and I've got so much music it does take about 40 minutes for it to click through and register all the tracks I have on that hard drive. Now in the top left hand corner you have this search section and it is simple as move down through the tracks as such or search. So let's just search for something. Billy Jean. And here we have every CD or file that I have with that track in it would come up. So what you can do, you can right, oh, there we go. We can right click, add to the end of the playlist, or we can drag it across. So what I'm gonna do is use my left button, and I'm gonna leave it on, drag it across to this section, which is the playlist. And that will be my first track. Now, down here is the timeline. Right, I'm gonna do that with another track. I've just done something randomly here. So now you can see the timeline. This is track one, Billie Jean, and Night Fever by the Bee Gees. At the moment it's set up for a simple crossfade, and we're gonna hear what that sounds like. That's not absolutely brilliant, so we're gonna try something else. We're gonna change that to a beat mix, 8 beat mix, see if that's any better. Now that's not bad, it's not perfect. What I actually think is the volume on some of this is a bit low, so I'm going to increase the volume, and it's simple as drag and drop these little round blobs on the, t on the sound volume line. And we're just going to come up a little bit on that. There we go. And we'll try again. this an interesting and useful introduction into Mixmeister Fusion in this case. We're going to take a look at some of the other program features and some of the tasks so that it really gets you up and running so you can use it for performance and if nothing else it will make you decide whether it will be a useful bit of software for you. Well until next time, stay up there and stay low.